<clears throat> hey guys, what is up? So today I'm going to be filming my BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of January. If you guys are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below just to, I don't know, join in on the fun over here. So um, you guys, this is January's box. They did not offer Boxy Lux this month because of the fact that they're just not offering it this month. They only do it every three months, I think. So now we're back to the basic regular box. I just opened this up for you guys and I completely ripped at the thing. It was very horrible, but just bear with me. I know that some of you guys do like to know the weight of the box, but this one doesn't have a weight on it, which is weird. So I wanted to start giving you guys the weight to see if you guys are going to be getting this box, but I don't even see a weight on the back of this box. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to do my unboxing a little bit different this month. I'm going to go on ahead and try on these products. So I already did my foundation. I'm not going to do anything crazy with my brows. My brows are very thick naturally, so I can get away with leaving them natural. But I did just film for you guys this Laura Mercier flawless luminaire radiance foundation review so i'm gonna go on ahead and get that video up too but that's gonna be a day-long wear test but anyway so i have my foundation done i have my face set so all i'm gonna do with you guys is play with the products in this box and then complete my look from there so let me know what you guys think we're gonna go on ahead and start unboxing this let me know if you guys want to start seeing more try-ons rather than just unboxing and reviewing this month's theme for boxy charm was boxy and chill so it was all nothing but snuggles and fun so like always you guys we have our card then we have all our products in the back the prices everything i'll go on ahead and add those up for you and just display it at the end of this video but i will be telling you the prices as we go so first off, what I do see in this box is something that I've not seen, a brand that I've seen before, but something that I've not received before. So this is Briogeo. It's a hair brand. I have honestly loved all the products that I've gotten from them. So this is the Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. Thank you, Jesus. This is something that I need because you guys, I have very long hair, which means that it's very hard for me to go and do cuts often. I go and do trims, but it's kind of a little bit scarring to go and actually cut it so <laughs> this is nice it's always nice to have masks and treatments that will just prolong the lifespan of prolong the time of cutting it you cosmo friends of mine are gonna kill me because you guys always tell me that i need to be keeping up with my trims and i don't but i rarely apply heat to my hair so my hair is not as damaged um, anyways, you guys, this leave-in mask retails for $16. I can't try this on, but maybe I'll do a review of it, a separate video, literally, and I'll just be in my bathroom applying it and just telling you guys how I feel afterwards. We have these Tatcha OMG, you guys. Tatcha is a really big skincare brand. I'm wondering if BoxyCharm is going to start including Tatcha more and more and more into the boxes because i would not mind getting an eye serum a face cream a face serum anything like that but this is good for starters so we got these luminous dewy skin masks honestly these are beautiful for the winter time if you guys are you know experiencing more dryness and stuff or for the summertime to show off that extra glow these are very nice just period these two masks retail for 24 dollars so right here for starters, you guys, we have this Star Looks Eye Pencil. So it's just a little eyeliner. And as you guys can see, it has a little roll tip that's not rolling out. So just a nice little roll tip. I'm going to go on ahead and give it a little swatching back here for you guys. It's a nice light little eyeliner. Honestly, you guys, eyeliners are really nice, but my face is so hairy, so ignore all the hairs. But eyeliners are really nice, but really... I can't apply them on the bottom too much because my skin is not oily, but I do kind of oil up in this little area and it always ends up just like going everywhere. Um, next up, you guys, we have this long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Havana Nights. Ooh, and this is Ofra. This is packaging that I have never seen before. Let's go on ahead and give this a swatch. Oh, this is nice. 
Oops, that's a very Cricut swatch. Mm, it smells really nice. Wow, you guys, I'm so excited to try this on. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go on ahead and, you know what, maybe I won't zoom out. Maybe I'll just pull this up over here. So next, you guys, we have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is the volume three. Now let me see which volumes I have so far. So, so far I've gotten volume two from BoxyCharm. And just to give you guys a preview again, this is what volume two had looked like. Now we're getting volume three, which honestly you guys, I have never really liked these Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palettes, but because I'm a makeup lover, I'll still use them and I'll still play with them. But just like, I don't know so let's see how this comes out here is volume three this palette is definitely a lot more prettier than volume two i'm gonna go on ahead and just give two shades a little swatch so i'm gonna do kind of the darkest one and then the lightest one that i see just so you guys can see how they swatch so i'm gonna go on ahead and swatch this shade right here well that's a pretty nice swatching very powerful Okay, and then let's go ahead and swatch this one. Also, that was a nice watching. So, you know what? Maybe volume three is going to be bomb, and maybe volume two was just playing with my head. I just went on my head and I picked up this Violet Boss palette that we did get in last month's uh, Boxy Lux. Um, this just has like the matte shades that I need to kind of complete the shimmers in the other palette. Um, I'm not going to use this color scale though because it's a little bit warmer than the other one so I want to kind of balance it evenly so for starters you guys I'm just going to go on ahead and pick up this thinks a latte shade right here it's just that plain base that I need just to get started with this look so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this kind of just pat this all over my eyelid just to give me that base color. And then I'm just gonna bring it. You guys, my eyelash extensions are about to get messy. So. Just ignore them. I'm just lightly just dabbing this color all around the eyelid. This shade right here called Transition. I'm gonna actually use it as a transition shade just to kind of darken things up a little bit because since I'm a little bit brown, I gotta take it a little bit darker because if not, then nothing will show up. So I'm just gonna lightly just dust in this little shade. I'm just gonna pick up this shade right here called Are You Kitten Me? And I'm gonna use that just to kind of deepen out that crease a little bit just to give us a deeper little look. Cause we gotta have some sort of color. You know what you guys, I rarely use just like straight up browns on my skin and I really like it. Cause brown on brown, there's something about the color of brown. Honestly you guys, my favorite color is brown and I'm not saying that just because my skin is brown, but I just, I love coffee and I noticed that the more that I started to love coffee the more I started to like the color brown it was very weird I'm gonna go on ahead and dig into this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette and I'm gonna pick up this shade over here this little shade and I'm just gonna dab that oops I really got in that you guys so I kind of packed that on a little bit to the lid but I'm just gonna pick up a little brush just to really get that extra packing that I need. I'm not gonna like deeply contour but I'm just gonna lightly brush in some bronzer. So this is the highlight and contouring palette from IBY that we did also receive in BoxyCharm quite some time back. I really just like it because this one's not too dark or too intense. So I can just lightly brush it on as if it were a bronzer if I wanted to. So we're just gonna move it down here just to give us some color. Okay, then I'm just gonna bring it up here. 
I'm actually going to kind of dab into both of these little sh ah. shades a little bit. Just going to lightly dab and then just lightly apply this on my cheeks. I like to kind of just dot it around the little center. And then I'm going to pick up this highlighting brush and dig into some of this highlighter on the side. This kind of picks up a lot of powder. And we're just going to, if we can, lightly just highlight the sides a little bit. I'm just gonna pick up some of this Tanya Cooks brow gel that we also did receive in BoxyCharm. Like I said, you guys, my brows are already super thick, so I'm lucky enough to be able to just slap on some brow gel sometimes. But I do like to do them a little bit just to give them a little extra pizzam. But this is good for today. So I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to pick up this double decker mascara that we did also receive in boxy charm and I'm just going to lightly coat my bottom lashes. Ooh. So I kind of just lightly coated my bottom lashes a little bit and then I'm going to slap on this liquid lipstick. which retailed for $19. I didn't let you guys know that. This Ofer Liquid Lipstick retailed for $20. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palette retailed for $36. And then the hair mask, let's hop it on over here, retailed for $16. And then again with the masks, these both retailed for $24. So you guys, honestly, I don't have a calculator on me, but these products, I'm sure that they value out to more than $100. The box is only $20. Um, Y'all better subscribe. It is awesome. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. I love you guys so much. Let me know if you, what you guys thought about this video. You guys, don't forget to follow my beauty page, which is kind of my beauty slash business page. So you guys kind of get to see what my life is like in the whole esthetician field. And then I have my regular page, Instagram page. You guys can follow that, I guess, if you want. And then I have a planner page. <laughs> I have all kinds of pages, but you know what? I'm a person who loves so many different kinds of things and i feel like if it's annoying just to plop everything into one feed and it just starts looking a little bit crazy and messy and a hot mess so um let me know what you guys think i love you guys so much thank you guys for sticking around and i will talk to you guys soon bye